Okay, uh, let me give you an overview on how the Hermes light looks like uh, from the back and from the front. Uh, I don't know which, which, one, which side is the back and which side is the front, but anyway, you can see that there is this uh, supply voltage here or the supply power supply connection right here. Uh, you need also, of course, a network cable because it's uh, where the uh, data is going from the Hermes light to the computer. And here you have different lights um, that uh, will give you an indication what's going on. The CL1 and CL2 are basically uh, some kind of a connection for clocks things. If you combine this Hermes light with other Hermes lights or something like that, no idea uh, what it's uh, supposed to do, but uh, we don't need this particular function. And this is the PTT key. As you can see in my setup, I have a, a PTT key cable. So this one looks like this. It's just a, a normal jack. And if you follow along the cable, it goes actually to my switch here. And this will engage the PTT with this cable here. So you got I, I got this on this end here. And... Um, it basically is just for uh, PTTing uh, manually with that little button. It's just making a short, and making a short here will eventually uh, put the, the Hermes light in TX mode. If I push on the button here, you will hear the clicking. No, you don't hear it. I think it's because it's turned off in the software. So, anyway. Uh, this is the other side of the Hermes light. I try, I have not much space here, so uh, this is what it looks like on the other side. And uh, what do you basically have? I'll focus, okay, if he wants to. Yeah, that's always the same when you want to show something. No focusing, okay, there you go. Uh, so you basically have a, a exiter uh, where the yellow cable is. This is to control the PTT for my amplifiers, because I get two amplifiers in line. Um, you have also RF1 uh, and antenna connection. Uh, the other holes are not used in this case. The antenna connection is just a uh, SMA connector. And in my case, uh, it goes to a uh, uh, jack that will transform it to a normal quack scale. Now, um, as you can see, you might just be asking, oh, where is the microphone input of uh, the Hermes light? There is no microphone input. So basically, the audio will come through the software into the Hermes light. You need to actually have the uh, uh, software running that will manage the entire audio processing of the Hermes light. So that's basically how it looks like. There's not much to it. Uh, there is not even an on-off switch on it no audio input or microphone input just that PTT key, key that I'm using uh, oh yeah for the uh, uh, exeter it looks like this okay and um, in my case I'm using my Hermes light together with a micro PA um, amplifier you can find the micro PA amplifier uh, on AliExpress for about 160 euros. Let me just try to get my uh, SWR meter on the side. This is the micro PA. Um, I can give you the link in the description. Uh, you, you see that scrolling there on the screen that's uh, just uh, uh, not happening of course in real time. But uh, basically uh, you just have one button that's going to turn it on or off if you press long time it's going to turn it off it's going to turn it on but the screen is always on you get of course the input of the amplifier okay and the output and here you have that uh, ptt control key that uh, i'm using now people who have let me just try to pull it out so this is one side of the cable okay and it goes to that exeter that you have right here okay so when I PTT, it will engage uh, the amplifier and it will make the amplifier start to uh, go in TX mode. Okay.
let me just push it in there um, for those who are familiar with the uh, micro PA50 you're probably gonna wonder why is there a big fan on top well I didn't like at all the small fan that is built in it's too noisy for me and uh, I have drilled a few holes in the enclosure on the top uh, about 2.5 millimeter sorry centimeter uh, holes one two three four around the um, uh, fan here that is normally used in a standard computer it's a standard computer fan actually and uh, it is much less noisy uh, I also have uh, noticed that the original fan uh, that is in there uh, did not uh, turn on uh, for some reason uh, it seems to be a hardware failed uh, fan so I didn't even uh, bother uh, to change and uh, put a normal fan on there so this will actually give me about 30 to 50 whiskies output um, um, bell uh, on different bands and this will drive my OM2000 plus amplifier more than enough I can get enough power out with uh, this setup and I can fully drive my OM power to the point that it goes into security because the input power is too high that's uh, the overview of the Hermes Lite hardware uh, if you want more of these videos let me know I will uh, upload on a regular basis my endeavor with the Hermes Lite uh, we are about two weeks in after I have assembled it so the other video is a video from about a week and a half two weeks ago 70 trees to all of them Oscar November 7 Oscar Fox Fox over and out